Weakening him down to the perfect amount. Uh, yeah, literally perfect amount. Okay, not in the cards for us today. Maybe we give it to Vanessa. Vanessa's probably a pretty good unit to be using as well. Oh, oh no! That doesn't kill. That's so bad. Welcome, welcome, welcome your faces back to Rostin, and welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones Difficult Randomizer. We're heading straight in. It's been a couple days. We've got computer issues sorted. We're back. Um, don't worry, we're going to come back with some vision quests one of these days. It'll be in the next video, actually. Um, but in the meantime, we need to get a quick little episode out on this game. And um, I'm hoping, you know... We'll be able to get a couple chapters in, uh, maybe combine a few into one video. Maybe we'll see how it goes. You know how that can be. So anyway, Erica and company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Ah, very slow moving text. Their chase leads them into the mountains where Bazba's bandits pillage at will. Bazba's bandits. Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's pleas for help. Adjusting my microphone. She leads her group in search of the bandit stronghold. All right, this is a bit of a scuffed start already, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. <sighs> Chapter three: The Bandits of Borgo. The local villagers tell me that Bazba's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw a, a lad matching the description of our bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that the youth is one of these bandits. Bandits, here in Rene, our homeland. I had no idea. Burning our villages, stealing from our people with no fear of reprisal. I don't know how to say that word, apparently. It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. However, with Rene in, in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. Doesn't look like the Grotto army is interested in maintaining order here. If nothing changes, R Rene will continue this sad plunge into savagery. Uh, uh, hello? Pardon me for asking, but are you all so sort of some sort of mercenary troop? Why do you ask? P please, you have to help Colm, you have to. I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. All right. I'm Nimi. I'm from... I used to be from a village named Lark. Except the village is gone. Gone? What do you mean? Bazba's bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers... The bandits attacked them and... Nimi, what are you doing here? Bazba's bandits... They have a hideout here in the mountains. That's where Colm... I'm Colm. He's my, uh... We've known each other since we were kids. He went to steal back from something the bandits took from me. He went alone? That's a very dangerous thing. Yes, I know. That's that that's what I was that's what I told him, but he wouldn't listen to me. If I lose Colm too, I I don't know. I'll I'll Wait, please don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see see that he's not harmed. Really? Really and truly? Oh thank you, thank you. I, I don't have much money, but I'll do anything to help. Your Highness, what will it be? If the thief we're after has gone to the bandit's lair as well, well, it seems as though we share a common cause with Nimi. She is a citizen of Rene, after all, and isn't it our duty to defend our countrymen? I'm only sad that we weren't here to protect her friends and neighbors. So yes, I feel we must help her. Very well, Nimi, I trust you can lead the way? Uh, yes, it's this way. Um, is there anything I can do to help? I feel so... When I was little, I used to go hunting with my grandfather. What I mean is, I'm not bad with a bow. Really? Uh-huh. I see. You should remain behind and protect Princess Erica. Hmm. Not sure who's out there. But it looks like we've got guests. Let's give them a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger? Stick an axe in him. I wanted to give him an accent, but I feel like I give everybody Scottish accents nowadays for some reason. No idea why. Uh, but, <laughs> but it's just a thing that's been happening, all right? So, um, yes, welcome back to the Iron Man. Uh, I want to say a quick thank you to all of you who, uh, gave some suggestions in the, in the recent 
community post about uh, another Fire Emblem hack project that I can uh, work on after Vision Quest comes to uh, an end because we're almost to the end. Um, but I haven't really, I don't think I've gotten really to, uh, blah, 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 blah. I haven't really got into the replying just yet, but I uh, wanted to acknowledge that here in case I still hadn't got to it yet. Um, yeah, first move here, What is what is the move? It's actually been so long since I've played this game, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but feels nice. Feels nice that we're back in. Um, shoot, man, I don't know. Maybe I just throw Erica in there and yeah, I, I guess that's the way to do it. I was kind of trying to feed Colm a kill, not Colm, Ross some XP here, but not really a huge point in that. I feel like we could just, <laughs> we could just throw him in there like, like, so, um, you know, I, I don't know. And maybe Garcia can throw uh, an ax over here. Maybe, uh, Colm, not Colm. Why do I keep calling everybody Colm? Franz comes this way. Um, and we can do that. I feel like we need to give Seth a weapon that's not a Silver Lance. So, yeah. But, yeah, I guess we just fall in, you know, stack up. We're gonna miss that. I mean, no, we're not, but we could pretend. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of experience, Ross. Whoa. Whoa there, buddy. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Uh, oh, there's Calm. And here we go. <laughs> and not a soul saw me. These bandits are easy picking. I guess I might as well start with these chests here. Um, yeah. Which... By the way, we'll get to the chests in a second, but it's pretty hilarious that these chests are here. Kakom, Nimi, what are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't. It's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along. But, but... No, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, Nimi. I... All right. Oh, I guess we should look at... <laughs> oh, God. What am I ever prepared? We got to look at our units here. <sighs> He's got some pretty decent stats and decent growth, actually. I kind of... Uh, I don't know why I th assumed they weren't so good, but maybe when you compare them to, like, Natasha and La Rachel or La Rochelle or however the hell you want to pronounce her name, they are not as great... <laughs> Uh, as far as growth, raw offensive capabilities, but M Mulder can hold his own. He's got 70% HP, 40 magic, 50 skill, 40 speed, 20 luck, 25 defense and resistance. So he's kind of actually the boulder. Not really. I mean, he doesn't have a huge growth for defense, but I mean, he's got the same defense as Franz. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, and again, like 25, 30 is probably the high average for these games, vanilla games. Um, so definitely nothing to, to scoff at, I guess. You could have a 10% like Noel or like 15, like all the other squishy units in the game. But uh, yeah, Mulder, I feel like his early game utility is kind of the best thing about him, honestly. We'll, we'll uh, compare him more to Natasha when we get her, which by the way, I was kind of can surprised by that poll i i guess i should look at the uh the results i didn't put Laret larichelle L rachel in the poll but i said neither that kind of insinuates maybe you use larachel or like a different healer or like a pre-promote or something but in the poll Mulder got 41 percent of the majority of being used uh, uh, <laughs> in this game which was very surprising because i never really liked using him I just felt like Natasha and the Rachel were always just a lot better, you know? On to the next, we got Nimi. Oh, Nimi. 55% HP, 45 strength, 50 skill, 60 speed, 50 luck, 15 defense, 35 res. Nimi's... I feel like Nimi's a mixed bag. She's cursed by some bad archer bases, first of all. Like, those are pretty awful stats. And uh, her promotions aren't really great either. GBA games is like notorious you want 1-2 range and neither of her promotions give her that. 
She's stuck at one and two range, not one two range, uh, with the uh, ranger class, and then just two range or two three, I guess, with longbows as a sniper, which she can be good, but and her growths aren't bad at all. She's just kind of, you know, in a bad class. But I've had some good Nemes in the past. Her con is actually pretty bad too. Um, <laughs> once you start wielding any other bow or sword, like. It just gets, you know, she's get automatically weighed down. But her 60% per percent, <laughs> 60 percent speed growth is actually really good for um, her. You know, it's probably one of the highest in the game. So I say probably as I'm looking through. I only see like a few 65, 6, 60, 70, 170 Tethys. One of the <laughs> Tethys has the highest speed growth in the game, it looks like. So... Yeah, um, Colm. Colm is actually one of my favorite units in the game because I think I've got a lot of nostalgia for this game, obviously, um, and runs long past when I was bad at the game or use grinding as a legit method of playing. Uh, so Colm is, Colm is good, though, because he's got a decent strength growth and 75% uh, HP, 40 strength, 40 skill. 65 speed 45 luck 25 and 20 defense and resistance so definitely not a bad combat unit while being a thief and it's even better in this game you can promote him into an assassin which is pretty nifty and as i'm saying he's a pretty good combat unit too uh he doesn't double this guy which is actually really unfortunate <laughs> um so we're gonna just like chill on that maybe um and also on this, like, what are we doing right here? <laughs> um, do we have any door keys? I don't think we really do. So I think we're just going to throw Erica right here. Do we have a chess key? Or maybe this guy gives us a chess key. Or maybe he gives us a door key. Maybe I don't have any freaking clue. Maybe Erica's about to get defense or strength. And yeah, she beat me to uh, finishing the sentence. So maybe we throw Garcia here, or maybe we just let him kind of waffle about and get Ross these levels, and we can spite uh, the Atlas and use uh, Ross and um, have a have a very blessed Ross, and maybe promote him by the end of the chapter. I doubt that will happen, but that would be pretty pretty funny. That would be pretty sick. Um, but maybe we just throw an axe at this guy, speed up the process a little bit. I think we kind of kill if we do that, though. We do. We could throw a javelin, maybe. Speed it up by, by one turn or so. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, d <laughs> I don't really want to play, um, base this entire, uh, playthrough on Ross, but... Looks like that's what we're doing, apparently, so... Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. Very good, we missed. We Oh, and he crits! Oh my goodness, I kind of want to try to use Nimi and use... Uh, if I just use Ross, Nimi, Eowyn, Amelia, all the garbage units in the game, Noel. I know Noel can be really good because he's a summoner, and summoners can be really OP, but... As far as combat goes, oh my god, he got speed again. As far as combat goes, Noel, I feel like, is uh, not super great. But maybe the bar is so low in the game that it doesn't really matter. You know, and his terrible luck stat doesn't really matter. And maybe when we get this kill, Ross will level up again. But I don't think he will. Pretty close. We got a door key. We got the door key, but would we want to use it right here? I don't really know if, why, but I guess we could. Um. Should we use Nimi? <laughs> I have, I have, like, literally, as I said in the first episode, I have no expectations, no plan whatsoever. I don't really know. I kind of try want to try to use Nimi, though. Because I'm... I'm just like that. I'm definitely like that. Why? 
couldn't tell you, but something funny about these chests is they're all just basic weapons, so I don't know that they all are, but I think most of them are two of three. And that's kind of funny to me because it seems kind of like a waste, especially if you buy a bunch of stuff in the uh, last chapter. But, uh, you know, who am I to say? Um, so we can throw Erica there. We, uh, throw, throw this thing at, throw, bleh, throw an axe at this dude. Oh, of course we get hit. And now he's going to go for Mulder if I heal him, which is unfortunate, but we could rescue him, I suppose. Might as well just really go for the Ross training arc type thing. Uh... <laughs> um, hmm. Franz, we probably need Franz, so I think thieves give a lot of experience still in vanilla. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Pretty good, I think. Um, and we can rescue Mulder. So Ross takes that hit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Don't, don't get Ross killed. We can't do that. It's a good thing I saw that. <laughs> that would be that would be really really sad actually. Um, Nimi and Colm can support I, already. I think I'm actually gonna do that because I do want to use Colm as well. Um, okay, this is fine. Oh, he couldn't even kill him. What am I doing? Oh well, that's all right. I for, I for some reason thought Ross was gonna kill on uh, enemy phase here. But that is not the case. So I'm panicking for no reason, as per usual. Uh, but we're gonna get Franz over here healed up. I gotta remember that I'm Iron Manning for the first time, first of all. And uh, if I make the dumb mistakes, I'm not gonna rewind like I usually do. I'm like, wow, I was not thinking at all. That's probably like 60% of all rewinds that happen. Iron sword. Yep. So get rid of that. And can this archer attack me? He, we can't. Oh, we're not close enough, but we're going to support here. Amy. Oh, hi, Colm. How are you doing? There's no time for pleasantries. You need to concentrate in battle. I was just being polite. I never thought I'd see you on the battlefield. Well, I might not be the best, but when something needs to be done, I do it. It's amazing how war affects people. I mean, look at you. You're a bumbling crybaby. But, e but even you've pulled yourself together temporarily. Uh, when we were little, you followed me everywhere, tripping and crying. Oh, <laughs> why are you always so mean? <laughs> now look at you. You're still following me everywhere, tripping and crying. But now you're doing it on the battlefield. Will you please stop your boo-hooing? <sighs> okay, I'll try. Man, you can't do anything without me, can you? And stop crying. But, what is it? You're the one who's making me cry. Ugh. Colm is being mean, but it's because he loves her with all of his heart. Okay, <laughs> wait. Oh my god. Are we gonna, are we gonna do exactly what I tried not to do last turn, but I'm gonna end up doing it anyway? I feel like... I think that would exact be exact damage, and I do not, I do not want, I, oh my god. That would be sad. You can kill Gilliam for all I care, I don't, I don't, I don't. Gilliam is not going to be useful, I think. I'm kind of surprised we don't get doubled here, honestly. Um, <laughs> what's the speed, three? Oh, this one has six, I think the other one had... Uh, seven so that would double this dude would double Gilliam. Oh, not the steel axe though. Jesus This guy would that's so scary Okay Ross Can you do it? We've got plenty of backup plans We we, we did it He levels up <sighs> Okay, okay that could be better. We'll, we'll, we'll take that for sure. I'm not gonna be dying, am I? Really hope not. Be sad. Garcia can break the wall. 
Comb can open the door. Why not? Uh, Nimi can stand here and get shot by the archer. Why not? Gilliam gets healed. Gilliam could get doubled by this hand axe, and that would be really, really unfortunate. <clears throat> really, really unfortunate. Oh, okay. Mulder getting speed and defense. That is what we like. Maybe that's why you guys use Mulder. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I've just never been a fan of Mulder. I think I used him a couple times, turned him into a sage for the, for the giggles, and still, like, he wasn't great. Which, I mean, oh my god, Nimi is really bad. Uh, at least she has better hit than that guy, but... Wow. Okay, Ross. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got here, my dude? How much does he get from these? Chip damage is like 30, which is still crazy. Um, oh my god. Hey, my goodness. Let's not risk dying. We can give it to Colm. This is gonna be like the baby unit fest. I can already feel it. So we gotta like start training. Wait a minute, cause I kinda wanted to use Ford too. So am I just gonna try to use every bad unit there is? Oh no, I definitely, no Garcia, no Gilliam. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't do those two. I just can't. If I just stop, stop here, do they move? Or do they just wait for me to keep going? Uh, we're going to get healed up with Nimi, of course. I could throw Gilliam off to the other side, I guess, and get hand axed. Doubled. That'd be, that'd be really smart of me, actually. No, no, it would not. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I could throw Curcio over there. He could take one. He could take a hit. Maybe get a little bit of a counter counterattack going. Erica should probably be out in the front, right? You know what's kind of interesting? Um, have any of you done a a draft race? I think I'm interested in doing that, some sort of some sort of thing like that in the future. Um, obviously, that's a big time sink, right? Like eight hours potentially, like beat the whole game in one sitting. It's kind of a lot for me at this point, but um, it does seem interesting. Uh, and I've never tried to do something like that. Also, it it's like. LTC oriented, you know Never done anything like that either. I've always been like a thorough get everything you can out of the map type of player um, So I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I'd be interested in trying someday um, Obviously that means I need uh, Some other people to do that with so I don't know if there are any other small Fire Emblem creators out there that might need to collab or something, but yeah. Anyways, we're um, really freaking training Ross up for some reason. Skin strength. Skin strength. Some speed would be great. But that's alright. We're not complaining. <laughs> not yet. Um, what's, this, what's this damage like? Some big damage there. Erica can eat this for sure, though. For sure. Franz, I, I love Franz. I do want to use Franz, but I kind of want to use Ford, even though he's pretty bad. Maybe I should be using Ford a little bit, or Franz, just in case. Just in case Ford is really, really bad, or dies, even. Which is uh, definitely possible, you know? Anything is possible here in Iron Man Land. Any small little stupid mistake could cost me everything. Um, speaking of, Ross gets another kill. Is that another level though? Not quite. Not quite. We'll see if we can uh, hit the mercenary up here. I'm gonna guess no. But uh, you know, we gotta we gotta try. We gotta try. If Seth doesn't like murder him, which he probably does. He actually does not double right here. So we'll throw Seth in. Um, and we will send in Ross right behind him. Okay, 
should be trying to get a heal off every turn, but oops, whoopsie daisies. Weakening him down to the perfect amount where Ross can punch him with the hatchet. Da, 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 da. Yeah, literally. Perfect amount. Okay. I guess it's not in the cards. Not in the cards for us today. Um, however... Maybe we give it to Vanessa. Vanessa's probably a pretty good unit to be using as well. Oh, oh no! That doesn't kill! That's so bad. I just assumed that would kill Vanessa. What are we doing? Actually, like, what are we doing right now? That's fine. That is okay. Get Gilliam out of the way. He's not going to be useful for fighting the boss. Alright, at least we don't get doubled, and that's not like a really, really embarrassing death or something, but still, I find it humorous, and kind of embarrassing in a different way, like, she doesn't even kill that dude, come on. So this guy's got a hand axe, right? He's got decent speed, I mean, decent for right now, I guess. He won't double Ross, how much damage does he do? We'll do 16 damage, huh? Guess what? We can actually eat that. <laughs> so, I feel like... On the head of, head of this bandit pack, the mighty Bosba. Hope you've enjoyed your life, because it's about to end. I feel like we can chip damage, get a level up. <laughs> level or two, you know? We could go all the way, but I doubt that's going to happen. Okay, more strength. Not exactly what I'm hoping for, but... Obviously, that is helpful. Um, I feel like... I feel like we ought to give this kill to Franz. Uh, because, like I said, we want to have some solid neutral game uh, fighters on our squad. Having a buff level 1 fighter, Pirate Ross, whatever, probably not going to cut it in the level 7 Erica. So, probably should give it to Franz. Make sure we have a fighting chance. Uh, when, if things start to get a little bit tougher, you know? -da 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 -da. So, we heal Ross. Like so. Make sure he has no owies. And whatnot. We could go for another one. We could throw Erica in. Uh, Erica and Colm maybe both. Oh, Colm does not double here. That is unfortunate. Nimi gets her house rocked. What did I say? I don't know, but I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, and what does Franz do? Franz does a decent six. Um, we could just leave Ross there another, another turn or so. But what's the chapter after this? Uh, I don't remember, actually. Crap. Oh, it must be the monster chapter. That's what it is. So, Ross will have plenty of training there, I feel. Da, 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 ba, da. So I think we just throw Erica in. We dodge everything. Because Erica is actually a beast. And I think we kind of... Do we just leave Ross? I'm having, I'm, I'm having trouble. Maybe we just throw an, an uh, throw an axe. If we miss and get hit, then we just move. Or not. We stay there. If he gets a little bit more XP, that's obviously not going to hurt. But I want, I just want friends to get the finishing blow. Ouch. And I was just about to say, unless Erica crits here, I'm the mighty Dazba. This ain't... This ain't what? 
I don't know, but Erica getting a level up is not, I'm not gonna complain, obviously. Level seven though, it's kind of crazy. Speed and defense. Okay, 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 okay. She might be an energy ring candidate for sure. And that's all right. We're gonna heal up Erica. We're gonna use the speed. We're gonna seize. C Comb. What now? I told you not to worry. I could have robbed these bandits blind on my own. Thank you very much. I was worried. Hold on, I'm sorry. Come on, don't start bawling. Uh, no more dangerous stuff by yourself. Fine, fine. I promise. Well, you have to stop crying all the time. You have to stop crying all the time, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. Hmm? I got your mirror back. Remember how you cried when we left Lark? You thought you'd lost this. I knew it was your mother's, and I knew these thugs had taken it. So I went and got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guarantee results. Comb. Ah, wah. <laughs> Comb. Hey, why are you crying this time? Come on, stop. Knock it off. Please, Nimi. This is quite touching, but I think you'd best return Princess Erica's bracelet to her now. What are you talking about? <clears throat> are you trying to say that I... Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Hold it. It's right here. Take it. Tell me, boy. Is this the path you've chosen for your life? If this, girl's matter to, if this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Do not expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait. Let us go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? Nimi and I. We've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just going to be more fighting. You're mercenaries, right? Well, then take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. I would prefer not, but I'll agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is a grave one, however. We've no time to waste shepherding you. It's fine with us. You just wait. I promise you won't regret your decision. Retrieve your br bracelet from the ba bandit stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, father gave me this bracelet when I was a child. It's on the only. It has only one match in the world, and my brother wears it. Lady Erica, you must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is the proof that King Fado entrusted the future of Rene to you, his children. Seth, what is it you're not telling me? I apologize, your highness. When the time comes, I will tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me it must wait, then it can wait. I trust you. We should get moving again. You're safe from bandits for now, but I can't guarantee for how long. This... This is just the beginning, isn't it? If we hope to free our homeland, we'll take battle after battle. I'm afraid so, your highness. The day you and Prince Ephraim win back the freedom and honor of, of Renace will come. But I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know, I must fight for that day. In the names of all those I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go, my brother awaits. Where's the music? General DeSalle? Salina, have you been back long? Tell me, how fair is the campaign in Rene? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands run, brigands ride without fear, and the peasants' cries fill the air. Hmm. If Grado's troops do not enforce public order, the situation will only worsen. And yet, and still, <clears throat> His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps just this once, I should take the lead. What could his majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Rene, invading without warning. He's never been this way before. He abhors violence. And have you noticed the recent promotions? Who are they going to? Certainly not the soldiers who have Grado's best interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude of a much larger war. I feel as though his majesty is no longer the man who we knew him to be. Glenn, it doesn't matter what any of us might think of our orders. We are his servants, and we will not question his majesty's intentions. I know that, Selena. And yet... That's enough, both of you. His majesty summons us. Let's hope we can learn a, th a little during our audience. There it is! <laughs> um, so is it Selena or Selena? Obviously, I've said Selena in the past, but it doesn't really feel like it fits. I appreciate your work in fulfilling your previous orders. 
You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's will. You will continue to operate without hesitation, wherever I send you. By your command, in your majesty's name, yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. In the invasion of Rene, certain soldiers performed beyond expectation. I've chosen them to join you as new generals in the Empire's service. Come. The performance of these men surpassed even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? <laughs> God, Reeve is so nasty. <laughs> I am Reeve, given the name Blood Barrel by His Majesty. I know I am a newcomer, but I pray for your favor. Understood. I'm Kallik. I was a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems I'm to be called Tiger Eye. <laughs> You're a fine looking lass, aren't you? Yeah, I want to love working with you. So we meet again. You know me as General Volter, but you will call me the Moonstone. I'll save you worthless dogs from your own incompetence. You'll thank me later. Volter, you scum. Peace, Glen. Selena, Kalak, you will bring me Frelia. Yes, sire. Sure. Good as done. Reeve, Desel, you are charged with the defense of the Empire. I will speak to you individually with more details later. <laughs> Understood, your majesty. By your command, sire. And me, Walter, Glenn. I have other duties for you. Yes, your majesty. Renee has fallen, but Princess Erica still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Ephraim, leads a resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. <laughs> of course. Alright, I suppose that does it. Oh boy, that's kind of a, a longer uh, adventure than I hoped for, to be honest, but... You know, we got to train up Ross, right? So, yeah. Um, not much to say other than <laughs> I'm getting a little worried about our um, Ross-only army, but it'll all come together. Don't you worry about it, and I won't either. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very shortly again soon. Thanks for watching.